Hello friends, welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. Um, today I want to talk to you all about um, the new changes that Cricut is making in design space. I know that if you have heard anything about it and haven't upgraded already, um, that you're probably freaking out a little bit. Like you're probably thinking, why are they changing this? It's working seamlessly for me, which by the way, doesn't always <laughs> work seamlessly, but that's another story. Um, but you're probably thinking, you know, why are they changing such a good thing? I'm so stressed about this, confused, whatever. And so we wanted to just take a few minutes to talk to you guys about, um, the, the how to how to download um, some requirements that you need for your system to do that um, and maybe just answer some questions that you might have about any changes um, that is going to be happening to design space for you guys um, so hopefully we cover everything that you have questions on here um, in this little segment that we're about to do the transition for everyone needs to happen by January 29th of 2020 so very soon um, the web-based version of Design Space will not be active, effective January 29th. So, um, you know, prior to January 29th, you need to have already downloaded uh, the desktop version of the software. So Design Space for Desktop will work for all Cricut machines or all of the current Cricut Explorer and Maker machines, um, and it works on PCs and Macs. A benefit of Design Space for Desktop is that it's an application that actually lives on your computer. So it's not web-based dependent, which means if your internet goes out, um, you can still work with Design Space. Uh, because of that, communication between desktop uh, Design Space and your machine is actually uh, more direct and stable and quicker uh, because it's not relying on the speed of your internet uh, to talk back and forth. Because of that, it's also prone to less crashing. Uh, which is nice. Hopefully Design Space will be less glitchy because of that. Downloading the new desktop version of Design Space is actually pretty simple. Um, I do recommend that you do that before the 28th, um, if you can do it now, uh, just because I would think a lot of people will be waiting until the very last minute and the, the download speed might be a little bogged down because there are so many people trying to download it. Um, so, you know, go ahead and try to do that um, now if you can. To download the application is actually pretty simple. Um, you'll just go to cricket.com and there's links everywhere for downloading um, the software. So uh, you'll you'll just follow the step-by-step -step instructions that your installation wizard or whatever uh, brings up for you. It is pretty simple. It doesn't take that long to do it. Um, you do need 370 megabytes of free disk storage on your computer um, in order to download that and if you intend to use um, Cricut Design Space uh, offline, so um, so you wouldn't need the internet to, to use it, and you intend to like save your projects there, um, and and your uh, different files and fonts and things like that, then they recommend that you have about four gigabytes of extra storage on your computer uh, just to store all of those things offline, so out of their cloud storage. So keeping your Design Space app up to date is really simple because it automatically updates. Um, so if for some reason you're not online uh, when an update rolls out, it, it won't automatically update. But um, once you connect back to the internet, internet for the first time, um, it will prompt you to do that um, update. Also, if you are like in the middle of a project or something when an update rolls out, um, it won't do it at that point, but like while you're working with your design in design space. Um, but once you click to a new canvas, it will prompt you uh, to make that update. So it should work pretty seamlessly and, and pretty easily. Um, should be easy to keep it um, up to date really nicely. So Design Space for Desktop supports multiple windows. Um, you can do several different projects at one time, uh, which is nice for a lot of you guys who have lots of things going on in your head, uh, working on projects. You do, however, um, yeah obviously you can only cut from one window at a time. So you can't have like four windows open um, cutting to four different machines at one time. It's only one window at a time. So with Design Space for Desktop, you still have the option to share your projects. 
there is a little arrow that you'll just press, um, press share, and then just follow the online or the instructions uh, for sharing. You will still have the option to have a link that you can share with your friends. Um, so that's pretty much still the same uh, easy sharing. Okay, so Bluetooth connection is still available for uh, Design Space for Desktop, just like it was with the web-based version. However, just like it was with the U uh, with the web-based version, uh, the USB connection is faster and more stable. Um, so either option is still available. I personally prefer the USB option just because it is faster and more stable. Okay, guys. So hopefully uh, with this a little bit of information that I've given you, you guys feel kind of okay about switching over. Um, like I said, it really it's super easy to do. And honestly, like I'm going to show you in just a second, but it doesn't look any different. Like I, I love for like user interfaces and things like that to change up when updates come out. I love to see how they're changed. And I was honestly a little bit disappointed because this one doesn't change at all. Like I haven't found anything that's different on it. Um, so I'll show that to you guys for sure. Okay guys, so you can definitely Google um, how to download Design Space for Desktop. Um, Help.cricut.com has a fantastic step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that. Um, so I just wanna show you really quickly, I do already have it downloaded on my computer, so it may not let me do um, every single step, but um, you just press this wonderful little thing. It is still a beta version. I don't know at what point um, Cricut will switch that over um, to a not beta version. Uh, but we do have the beta version on our computer and it's working really well right now. So you will just press download. Um, and it's going to ask you to allow the download to happen on this Mac. Uh, you can see in the top right hand corner where my download is occurring. Uh, once that's finished, I will click that, double click it. Let's see here. There it goes. Um, so it's opening and it wants to run and do all of these wonderful things. Let me drag this up here for you guys to see. Um, it wants me to drag the design space icon into my applications. Once I have dragged the Cricut Design Space application into my application folder, I can double click that and then go to find uh, the Cricut Design Space application. So I'm gonna open that up. This thing pops up and it wants to know if I really want to open it and I do. And there we go, guys. That is so easy. We have it downloaded. I'm going to minimize this so that it's less confusing. But guys, this looks exactly the same as Design Space for um, Internet, for the web, the web based version of Design Space. So, um, I, it already has me logged in. I think it's because I had this previously um, downloaded. So what you'll do, um, let me just sign out really quickly. This is what it should look like when you guys open it up. Um, so you'll just go in and press sign in. Um, you'll put your password in and your email address that you always use for Cricut Design Space. Um, and when you do that, guys, it automatically loads all of the projects that you have saved, all of the um, um, files and everything that you already have saved. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about losing any of that. It's pretty seamless. Um, they have really thought this out. Okay, guys, so as you can see, um, that download, the whole process was super easy. Um, hopefully, you guys aren't scared to do it now, especially seeing Design Space as an application versus web. It looks the same, which is amazing. Um, if you guys are new to Cricut and have other questions not based um, on, well, I mean, they can be based off of Design Space as well, but like other questions um, about about your maker, about uh, blades, about material, about easy press, about all those wonderful things, we would love to have you join um, our membership at makersgonnalearn.com. We have some awesome tools like this printable Cricut guide um, that really help walk you through any questions that you have um, with, uh, with crafting, with your Cricut in general. Um, so check us out at makersgonnalearn.com. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and do that. Um, and hopefully we'll see you guys again. Happy crafting and have a good day.